How's it going? This is Hellbent and welcome back to GUI short tutorial number two. In this one we're going to be looking at how to change the font, the size, the text type and all that within AutoHotKey GUIs. Um, this is a mini tutorial series so everything that I'm covering in this is only being done in a minimalistic way so if you're looking for a more comprehensive tutorial I have a complete series well it's I guess it's not complete yet but I have a series where I cover things in much more depth and they range in length from anywhere from 15 minutes to over an hour for one topic so if you if you want to know a everything to do with the GUI I suggest you go for that if you just want to know how to get things up and running really quickly this is a this is an okay series for that okay so what we're gonna do in this one is we're gonna change the size of our text the color of our text and the typeface so the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to add in our control so the control we're going to use once again is the same as we did for the first tutorial which is our text we're going to position it on our GUI at X10 Y10 and then we're going to display some text okay so let's have a look at what we have we have our basic template 500 by 500 with a line of text on it so now what we want to do is we want to change its color we want to change its size and we want to change its typeface. There's two ways that we can change its color. We'll look at we'll look at first how do we change the typeface and its size. So the way we do that is above any controls that we want it to affect. So we can decide if we want it to only affect one control or two controls or ten controls. We can decide that and I'll show you how to do that in a second. So the way we do this is we just type in GUI font and we do this above any controls that we want it to affect so GUI font and then in this first parameter what we're gonna do is we're gonna decide its color and its size so for its color we just type in C and then the name of the color now there's only about 15 or 16 colors that you can use by word for example black aqua lime and so on and so forth for everything else you're going to need a hex code or a RGB value so it could be something like it'll be something like zero 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 right and you can find these online if you look up something uh, if you look up HTML color codes on Google if you type that in you'll get to come to like a color picker and then you can pick whatever color you want and it'll give you a six yeah, six digit six digit numerical sequence or alpha numerical sequence and you can use that instead so it'll be something like a b zero three h well actually I guess h isn't gonna be in there f four you know it'll be something like that and then you can just use that as a substitute or you can look up on Google in the auto hotkey section for the colors that you can actually use by word so for example you can use silver like I said what we're gonna do is we're just gonna use aqua for our example so we're gonna change the color of our text to aqua and we're gonna change its size so I think the default don't quote me on this it's somewhere between 10 and 12 I'm not positive on what it is I just norm for the most part I just leave everything as default for the size but there is some cases where I want to change the size so I can change the typeface to any size that I want so let's go with a 36 so with that now for the typeface so there is multiple tons and tons of different typefaces you can use um, I don't have them all memorized in fact I have virtually none of them memorized so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up a blank notepad and I'm gonna go to format and font so that way I can find the name so I'll take this I'm gonna copy that and then the way we add this in is we need to add another comma and then we just paste it in so now we have these parameters that our text will follow so I'm gonna save it run it and it doesn't really look like the I don't know why I'm getting two instances the last couple of times okay so I don't think Cooper is a valid one so let me check 
Let me try another one. Um, I'm pretty sure this one works. So I'm going to copy that and paste it into here. Save the changes and run. And there we go. So we have a different typeface now. So, like I was saying before, we can all the controls that follow this line are going to be affected. If I want it to be reverted back to its normal defaults or if I want to change it to something else, I just add in. So let's let's add in another line real quick. And we'll do X10, but it will let it pick where it drops down to. So let's say I have those two lines. That's all I want the text to be with this typeface font and color and all that. Let's say after that I want it to be reverted back to its normal default. All I do is I just type in GUI font and then that's it. And then any line that follows this will be back to its normal. Um, let me add in another control here. Any control that follows this line here will be reverted back to its defaults. Okay, so you can see we have this like that and then we go back to our normal. Okay, the second way that I was talking about how we can change the color throughout each individual control. So let's say I have these three controls and I want each of them to be their own color. Rather than typing in this GUI font and then C color, in the options for the control, I can just type in the color thing there. So I'm going to type in red for this guy. This one I'm going to do black. And this last one I am going to do lime. Okay. And it'll completely ignore this color here. It'll use this color instead. Okay. So there we go. Red, black, and lime. Okay. So that's it for this tutorial. Come back for the next one. I think the next one... I haven't fully decided yet. There might be something in between what I'm going to say right now. But I think the next one is going to be how to add buttons and how to attach those to subroutines. So I will see you on the next one. Have a good day. Be sure to hit that like button. These series are dependent upon your activity or your feedback within these. If uh, there's not enough feedback, then these can series won't continue. So be sure to take the two seconds to hit the like button or the dislike button. Choose one. But choose, but do one of them. Don't just walk away. Do one of them. All right? And I'll see you on the next one.